right, I'm gonna tell that story again because now I got my headphones out. Maybe they can hear it differently. And they'll hear your side of it. So me and Jay, I've been having this issue with this car. I've, the rear end is in it, tires are on it, everything else is good. I've had funny little vibrations, and I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't like vibrations at all. Vibrations, noises, anything like that bugs me to death. So old Jay worked at a dealership figuring out vibrations on cars, new cars. Oh yeah, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're speeding. That's illegal. You're gonna scare this kid in this Honda. Man, this thing is smooth. He said Honda get on it, thought he was gonna run away with it. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. So what's going on is I've been having this funny vibration where the stick will vibrate a little bit, and it was driving me nuts. I could feel it, and I could you could almost you could hear it, feel the car, and it was at 2150 and 2200 exactly. It would only do it there. And it's like a slight little, like, really annoying. Because it's right where I like to cruise, like right now. And it was bugging me. So like 50, 55, that's right where it is. So pretty close. Jay come over and I, you know, I'm too close to it. So I need an extra set of hands or an extra brain or an extra mad scientist to listen to it, drive it, whatever. And since Jay was a professional, I use the term loosely, professional, guy figuring out how to do vibrations i figured he would know if both of us put our head together we'd figure this out so we're, we're we're literally driving down the highway in fourth gear and i'm like jay you feel this vibration and he said he said yeah he said you know i had a car that used to be able to like clutch kick it just barely touch the clutch in fourth gear or whatever you can just barely do it because it does it in all four gears with the same rpm barely touch it and it would recenter the clutch disc because we thought maybe it's a funny clutch disc or something as he was saying that this foot went <clears throat> on the clutch just slightly and it went away and we looked at each other like huh <laughs> what was that like it was it was really funny like in unison we just like looked like at each other time warp. it's like we were in a time warp twilight zone so now that we know what it is i gotta pull the tranny out dial indicator, center the bell housing we're supposed to keep be with the new adjustable dial pins and then this will never happen again. I won't have this vibration. But I'm telling you right now, that is smooth. Smooth, nice. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be, kids. Your cars are supposed to be hot rods. But the only way that you can get them perfect as drivers is to spend, well, even if you spend thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars, they're never gonna be perfect until you drive them. Then you know for sure you got all the bugs worked out of them. And I'll tell you this much, those engineers when they designed stuff, they knew what they were doing. And they drove good for the most part, like they were supposed to. They had a good, pretty good example. And every time you deviate from stock, i.e. this, this, that back there, this, and this, every time you deviate from stock, you lose something somewhere. But we're trying to get it back, we're getting it back. Right now, this thing is a real pleasure to drive, man. I mean, this thing is smooth as glass. I love it. Crank out windows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right, kids. We're gonna look at that mountain. It's been raining a lot, so all the, mountain, all the mountains are super green. And there's the ocean. And there's a police officer pulling somebody over. Look at that. Whose house do you think that is? I don't know. That's rain coming down. These are the West Maui Mountains, and we're on the west side towards Lahaina. But I can actually show you all this while Jay's driving. There he is. Isn't he cute? Guy's yeah, a good looking old man. And then, I'm just saying that because I love the guy, but not and I want to pick out curtains kind of way, but you know, like, oh, he's like my older brother. What? We're stuck. This is turn around. Yeah, turn around. We're turning around. The basic maneuvers. You gonna go four wheeling with it? Oh yeah! Hit the bumper. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh, this has this has a front bumper on it, by the way, and all the side trim. Look. Look at it. There's a bumper. See a bumper out there? It's cute. It's super cute. It looks good. My buddy Chris's dad gave it to me. Don't get busted by that police man getting in the cop car. There's a cop right there. I know. She can hear you. I guarantee it. Just mess with you. Now do it. Go. Hit it. 
Third second, go. indication I thought it should have thought about was the input shaft not being square right if it's off like ten thousandths or whatever I mean just enough that thing it can kick out it'll do weird stuff so uh, may not need a complete rear gun I mean let's be fair let's face it kids I haven't been the nicest to this M22 right anyway we're having fun I'm gonna post this quick up as a uh, real quick short video or whatever of what's going on and uh so you guys can see what's happening i'm having a good time with jay 